what is going on guys welcome back to paramisa tv today i'm back with the op sim and i am playing blue crocodile uh this is a great deck especially in this format blue crocodile i feel has been getting more and more powerful each set but i feel like definitely has come into the limelight this set with um Specifically with the release of Red Rock and OPO4 and Kaido, uh, you get a lot of removal power. And, I mean, blue has just solidified itself as sort of magic blue. Uh, sort of, hey, did you just play that card? No, you didn't. Put it back. Uh, which I think is really good. Um, let's just go through the deck, and then we'll go ahead and play some games. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and please leave a like, uh, like and subscribe at the bottom. Leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, I'll definitely get back if you have any if you have any tips and tricks. If you main blue croc, please give me some tips and trick because I have this deck. I'm still fiddling with the ratios in real life, so I would love to see uh, what people come up with uh, or what people are using currently. But at least for right now, let's go through the deck itself. Um, I have a lot of big dudes. We can go through them first. So I play the seven cost crocodile. He's 1k counter in hand. Uh, he has banish. And then specifically the second uh, the second ability, Dawn times one. Blue event cards in your hand cost one less to play. Um, on the, when you get him out into the game, uh, love, love beam becomes a one cost event uh there's a lot of two cost events that are good counter events that become one cost um like sp specifically this one as well dragon tister becomes one cost um these ones become free actually like desert spada becomes three which is good i mean plus two thousand and then you get it's not as good as like plus four thousand and then draw a card if you have three or less it's plus two thousand and then you can rearrange the top cards in your the three top cards in your deck um overheat is good for like getting rid of uh, a three cost or something or honestly um you could play Let's say you have a Sentamaru out still, and they're targeting it. Um, you could bring Sentamaru back to your hand. Really good. Um, you could also bring the Missile Sunday back to your hand if you think that they're going to try to remove it, or the Dofi, or anything to get another uh, deck ordering. But th this card is just amazing. Uh, Red Rock becomes 5 cost, 3000 World becomes 3. On a 10 Dawn turn, if you drop this, play him... Put one Dawn on him, that's eight Dawn. Uh, Sanji's Pilaf becomes two Dawn, draw two cards. Amazing combo. Um, this card, I think, is just going to get better and better. It's already really good in this format because of the prevalence of yellow. I think, like, Banish for the longest time has kind of been whatever on cards. But um, specifically this format with the popularity of yellow, I feel like Banish is going to become more and more... Uh, a normal thing, which is good. I hope to see it on more cards. Uh, Dracul Mihawk, obviously. Um, as see, I just play 2-2-2 two, two, two of all the big guys. Um, you could play 4 Mihawk and give up something here, like maybe the level of beam or something, play 4 Mihawk just to have, you know, the uh, a lot of removal and big bodies in the field later on. Um, I only have the two because this is the deck I have in real life. I only have two Mihawk. Um, I was... I was fortunate enough to get him in OPO1 when the game first came out, so he wasn't as expensive as he is now, which is good. Um, but yeah, I, I hope to get two more at some point. Um, Donkey Alti Doflamingo, the blocker, three costs, lets you rearrange top five cards of your deck, good. Um, the Sentamaru package, as you can see. So I'm playing Kuma, who's another blocker, and then on play, you can play a Pacifista from your hand. Um... I have three of each of the other pacifistas and four Sentamarus. So, Sentamaru is like the main... I play the Sentamaru engine. You're going to want to see him as close to the beginning of the game as possible. 
Um, because when, when you get him out, if they don't deal with him, you're getting hella blockers and hella pacifistas out, and it's a good time. Um, Miss All Sunday, specifically because we're using a crocodile leader, um, is so good. She's like the heart and soul of this deck. Uh, if your leader is Baroque Works, why did I get rid of him? If your leader is Baroque Works type, return one event card from your trash to the hand. Uh, it doesn't specify what type of event, so her existence in the deck means that you can get possibly more than four uses of Red Rock in one game with Miss All Sunday. Um, think of her existence as just four extra uses, four extra copies of any of the event cards, right? Um really good kaya another uh, 2k counter of the deck but also draw two trash too sometimes you have a trash hand you just need other stuff to play you can play her and get that ability um late game she's really good as 2k counter if your hand is already established she's really good um soga king same thing six cost or less back to the hand seven cost 6k attack uh, and then draw two trash too really good um kaido very good removal when he hits the board late game. He gets rid of 8 cost or less and 3 cost or less. Um, so he gets rid of both like that, right? So opponent has a Katakuri on the field. You can get rid of that. Uh, if you're if you're swinging for game, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally get rid of the Katakuri because the Katakuri can be played again and his on play effect is the, the scary part about Katakuri. So might not want to get rid of him in the yellow matchup but i mean it depends you can get rid of two blockers chump blockers like it's really good um sasaki 2k counter in hand and then on three cost on play he's a mulligan right with one dawn he becomes 5k he could swing right but he's a mulligan uh, literally just return all cards in your hand to your deck shuffle the deck then draw the equal number of cards returned free mulligan mid game really good at resetting your hand um, just ensuring that you have the proper hand to play. Dracul Mihawk, um, again, 2k counter, but 4 cost 5k. If you attach one Dawn to him and you attack, draw two trash too. Again, a lot of this deck is just ensuring that you're getting to these big boys so that by the end of it, you could just start spamming these dudes out and you have a good time. Uh, Centimaro already ran over. Dawn times one, rest to Dawn, and you can play a Pacifista from your deck specifically, which is the great part. Bartolome Kuma plays one from the hand when he's KO'd. Sentamaru does not have to attack and can summon a Pacifista and set it as active from your deck. Really amazing. Uh, Sanji's Pilaf, Potagree, draw two cards, no other drawback. Uh, 3,000 worlds, we play four of. Five cost or lower bottom decked. Gum Gum Red Rock, the greatest card ever made. Um, place any character at the bottom of its owner's deck. No cost 6 Dawn, but absolutely no um, cost restriction. Really good. And then Love Love Beam just to get more draw power, uh, you know, as on counter. Um, I think this deck is really fun. And obviously, I, di I didn't go over Crocodile's ability, which is Dawn minus 4, return a cost, return a cost 5 or less character to the owner's hand. Um, again, just really good for getting rid of problem characters, getting rid of blockers when you're ready to swing for lethal. Um, you know, in the mirror match, getting rid of miss all Sundays from play so they can't get another, um, red rock or 3000 worlds. Um, any on KO effect character like, uh, in the yellow matchup again, getting th this deck is just made, I think, to just eat up, eat yellow alive. Um, it's just really good. So you know what? Let's just go straight into the games with not Doe Filmingo. Let's go with Croco and let's do this. Let's see. I don't know what kind of matchups we're gonna play, but let's do this. A oh, Rebecca. Okay. So they have a little bit more targeted removal than I do, right? Because they have access to the black card pool, which can lower um, lower card cost. So, like, one or Lumbus can lower the cost of my card and then put it within 3,000 worlds range. Uh, oh, okay. So, this is an amazing... This is amazing right now. 
I am so happy with this hand. Um, we're good. We're gonna end turn because next turn I can. Next turn I could play three thousand worlds if he plays something crazy, but I could establish Sentomaru and swing, which is gonna be amazing. Let's see. Rebecca's a three cost searcher, and then trash the remaining cards. So he's picking which cards to trash. Um, or he already trashed two cards. What cards did he trash? Oh, six king pistol just was. Oh, is he playing the CP type? He might just be playing this event, but I've seen people um, run the CP package in Crocodile. Um, let's attack. If he takes a card, cool. Um. I would like to, what is he doing? Oh. What is it? Draw two, trash one. Okay. He trashed another six king pistol. So I wonder if he has four of six king pistols. It feels like a very bricky uh, hand. So my fear is he's going to play something to minus two cost of this and then play Kiros, which would get rid of it, um, which would suck. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Um, wait, so that's three Dawn, so that leaves me with three other Dawn. Let's do Let's get the blocker out And then let's do No, I don't I'm gonna keep Sasaki in my hand as 2k counters Because right now I have 3 2k counters So that's good Um, There's really nothing else I can I mean, I could see. Okay, I'm not gonna play Miss All Sunday because I haven't used any of these events yet. This is my sixth on turn. Next turn, I can Red Rock something if it's a problem or 3,000 worlds it. Um, but in the meantime, in the meantime, let's just attack and turn. All right, I have 2K counters up the waz. So I'm able, I, I'll be able to defend whatever. If I can establish a Mihawk and just start draw two, trash two, that'd be good. Um, oh, he 3,000 worlds the blocker? Is Kiro's three, something tells me he, he's going to reduce the cost. Yeah, draw and reveal or Lombus. No, what the heck? He didn't? Um. Do I want to use the two two Ks? No, it's in my hands. It kind of does me no good. Plus, I could summon another one with Sentamaru. So I have eight Dawn. Um, I have five to use. Um, action. We're going to play that one. Let's. Um. I don't want to. I'm at eight. I don't want to Dawn minus four just yet. I would rather do that on my 10 Dawn turn, so at least I go down to 6 and I can play stuff. But, do I bottom deck it now? And then just swing at him? Or do I swing at him? I think, yeah. I want to get cards out of his hand. I want to get cards out of his hand, and then all 3,000 worlds it. Uh, 
Okay. I have 4,000 in defense in counters. So if he swings at me with... Unless he removes me, if he swings at me with something, I'll be good. Um, and then next turn I can get another blocker out. Yeah, like what did you think was going to happen, sir? Is he going to attack me or the... Okay... Was this a six cost or less? And that's a seven cost. All right. Um, let's see. Hold on. Let's structure this turn out. Um, so I c it's so I'm gonna red rock this. That's six dawn. So that leaves me with four dawn left. Three dawn to get the other blocker out. Um, or. Let me not use Centimar's effect and actually get. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bottom deck that. Play this. And then just swing for 6k two times. Um, I am I am not afraid. Again, if he attacks into me, I can choose to block with Missile Sunday. I have five life. I could also take some of the life just to take it. Um, I'm, I'm actually in a good spot right now. I, I don't feel threatened. Uh, I have a lot of removal for that. And when I give this up, I'm going to be able to get another Red Rock. So the Luffy is of no concern to me right now. Um, the Cavendish might be. But either way, if he attacks this with the Cavendish, I mean, it, yeah, there's no way. I'm good right now. I'm all but guaranteed the Red Rock with this, so that's going to be good. Uh, it just depends on what he does. And I am at 10 Dawn, so Crocodile's ability uh, is active right now, which would be good. Because um, if I use that at the end of the turn, yeah. Okay. So what's he gonna do? Is he gonna attack the Centamara? Whatever he attacks. I mean, if he attacks... I'm gonna get him to... Um... I'm going to force his hand. I want him to give up the seven cards in there. C yeah, he's getting re he's going to restand it and try to swing into this, which is But if he attacks again, he's frozen, so I get free swings on him. I hope he realizes that. Um, let's, action, let's get another one out, and then I'll summon, <sighs> I should red rock. Yeah. I want to draw more, but, um, yeah, ultimately having these guys out, I have plus 1,000 on counter, I have another 3,000 worlds, he hasn't played, if he plays a Sabo, I can 3,000 worlds the Sabo, or the Cavendish, I think, because I think Cavendish is also 5 cost, um, Falgar Law. Oh, the... Damn, I don't see too many Rebecca's playing that. 
I'm interested to see. I, I wish, I mean, I know it's a fan-made thing, but I wish there was a way to, like, see other people's lists. But it's also, like, kind of open source, so they could just share the files. Uh, They could just share me the file if I asked or something on, like, a Discord. But, uh... I don't know. It, it'd be a cool feature to try to implement, like, a master door. It's like, okay, you can just copy their, uh... Or, like, you can view your opponent's deck list. Um, which would be sick. Because there's so many people on here that run, like, super creative stuff. Um, he can attack active characters, which means... Oh, uh, but he can't restand, so... What's he gonna play? What's he gonna try? I know it can attack active characters, but like. Um, okay. Six or less to the owner's hand. No, I'm going to. Huh. I could. Six or less this. Let's see, if I put that back in his hand, I'm giving him more cards. I want to leave that on the field. So I could put this back in his hand and... Let's see. Um, let's get another Pacifista out. I have seven Dawn left. If I play the Mihawk, that leaves me with two Dawn. Um You know what? Let's do four dawn. end turn so that way if he tries to play this I can play love love beam get a card and that'll be plus 7,000 power so he'd have to swing into me with something big as heck uh, but as you uh, yeah as you can already see this is the sort of control style that this blue crocodile deck really likes to play um, he bottom decked my Mihawk No blocker. Let's do this. Oh yeah, let's end it. Um let's do plus eight. So if I do this, choose targets. Draw two, get rid of two, so I can get rid of this and, uh, let's see, I'm at eight dawn, so I want to get rid of, let me get rid of that. I already have a blocker up. So, let me just... Um... Let me just swing with that. Because, yeah, next turn, next turn I get the Kaido. So whatever he plays, if he plays the Luffy or the Sabo or something, I'll be able to bottom deck the Luffy with the Kaido. And then I could just start going ham. Um, I wish I could get the freaking croc. I wish I could show off the crocodile. I love the crocodile banish. Uh, it's just so fun. Um, 
Yeah, I'm surprised he he didn't he hasn't played any of the Kiros at all. So I guess the Kiros in the blue. I I don't know. I feel like the fact that this Centimar has been on the field for so long is uh kind of bad for him. I mean, he's gotten rid of a lot of my pacifistas, but at the same time, like brother. What do you have for three dawn? That's okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Back to the owner's hand. Oh, they're not counters, so he would have to. Let's see, if I play the Kaido. Hmm. If I play the Kaido, let's see, three Dawn that would leave me with, if I use Centimar's ability, that's three Dawn that leaves me with seven. I could bottom deck the Heroes and then play Doflamingo and then I could just ping him for that give me two blockers a bottom deck on the Kiros and then I could swing into Cavendish well part of me just wants I don't even want the Kiros to get um I don't even want to look at the Kiros. I might want to just get rid of both of these. Hmm. If I bottom deck... If I don't play the Kaido. If I bottom deck the Kiros... He has four cards. So I can... If I swing 6k and he saves it... It's one. I could swing another 6k and then I could... Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save the Kaido for something else. Um, I have six Dawn to work with, so three Dawn. If I put one Dawn on each of these guys, and then I can play. Let's see. Let's see, he's gonna have to start giving up cards. Um, gave up the Sabo, really? Placing on the top. Let's do this into this and this into this. Uh, second Kaido there, and then yep. So next turn, I'll get Sanji's peel off. I can play that immediately. Get an, an miss all Sunday and the um. Let's try to kill this. Okay. So I don't really care if he gets rid of any of these two. I can defend the... I can defend the Soga King with Doflamingo. He hasn't swung at life at all, which is... I, I think a detriment. Um... How much more life? He has five?
you know what? Because if he plays, if he plays another Cavendish and attacks. Oh, okay. No, okay. Oh, so I, I can't. I can still bottom deck them, you doofus. <laughs> you absolute baboon. Um, seven dawn turn. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I can use... Red Rock to put that there. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna attack. I gave him two cards, but he has no life left, and I have a full five. If he starts swinging at my health, I feel comfortable taking. He's trying to break my board, but he's not swinging for life. If he starts swinging at my life, I have the full health. I'm good with taking one of these, and God forbid I get a trigger on one of these. I'm going to use it, and I think I'm sitting pretty in this game. Uh, dang, can we get... Uh, dude, sal leave, a, leave a saluting emoji in the comments. Um... For Sentamaru, dude, he stayed on the field for so long. It was so good. Oh, God, Sentamaru was a true trooper, dude. Shoutouts to Egghead. Sentamaru. God, I, I hope. You know what? F it. Sentamaru is the 10th tenth, uh, tenth leader or 10th member of the Straw Hats. Attack me. He's going to attack this. Okay. Okay, he's gonna put. Yeah, is he gonna put seven cards back in his deck? Really? Really? No blocker at all? Um. Yeah, there was no way he was winning. Um. I could. I literally just could have done five and five, so ten and eleven. Uh, there's no way he's countering that. Cool. All right, let's get let's get another game with Crocodile. I'm liking I'm liking Crocodile. I think Crocodile is a really fun deck to play. Um, playing it for like the entirety of the format might get like tiring. I feel just because uh, it's kind of like what I, oh god, Film Kid. Um, but it is really good. Ooh. So he's going first, so... Oh, this is actually good. You know what? I'm gonna keep. I have Sentamaru. And I just drew 2k counter. End turn. You know what? It's not the move. On the 4 dawn turn... Um... Let's take it. Oh, I don't have any events to play her with. But I have pacifistas. Which means that I can do... I can do... This... and turn so he's gonna get another search with the Bonnie the Bonnie's gonna be annoying um five thousand I'm gonna block it you know what? yeah let me block it if he restands himself and blocks again dude, I'm <laughs> two 2k counters now so okay my sixth on turn I can play this action get this one out and then I'm just going to swing into that 
and then swing into him. Uh, Bartholomew Kuma is another. It's a four cost blocker, but it's. I mean, you want to play offensive with him because his KO effect is you could summon another pacifista from your hand, which I have. Um, I don't really care if he kills Kuma because I get to replace him with another card. Cool. Um, are you going to restand? Um, how much does the restand cost? Three? Um, let's do it. Let's see. I don't want to. I want a bottom deck, though. That's what I want. Um, so let's see. Eight. So I have five Dawn to work with. I still have no events. So this Miss Hall Sunday is kind of whatever in my hand. Um. I could play. Hmm. Let's see, because with five Dawn, I can... Let's see. I can get another one. Um... Five Dawn to work with, so what can I do? I can split it up. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do that. Okay. Um, Gives up cards in his hand to defend it. Cool. What am I at? Eight. Um. So you could swing with this, but like, yeah. If I put this back in his hand, he was gonna restand the Zoro and just swing twice again. So getting rid of the Zoro makes him have to use four. That would leave him with five Dawn. He could play another Trafalgar Law and try to restand, but I want to uh, mitigate that as much as possible. You know what? He's done his job. trigger effect I have six dawn six dawn what can I do with six dawn let's see I can Just drawing a card. He's going to block with that, so I kind of want to. I kind of want a Kaya. Let's see. Got to get rid of two. Let's get rid of this and... Uh, do I need another Sense of Mara? 
I could, I could, no, I need, I would just not have enough cents of one. Huh. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of cents of one. Okay. So I have that. Let's do that. We're going to get rid of him, boys. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to use another Dawn minus two. No, 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 no. What's he gonna do? He's on ten dawn. Eight. Um no trigger. Oh, he's gonna restand. And what's he gonna play? Another law to restand one of these guys, probably. Oh. Dawn turn. Seven would return one of these, but I don't want to return one of those. What I need is to uh, Let's see. So five Dawn that leaves me with? Um, so let's see. I can get rid of these two. Let's see, five, six, seven. Let's see if he saves it. Jim, what the fuck? <laughs> Jim. What the Jim, I guess? Okay. Um, let's see, a five cost. Six. Huh. Has he been staying stuff the whole time? No, right? I want to go to the gym. Please don't play slow. Oh, Jesus. This dude. This dude. Um. Let's do this. Um. Let's get rid of... Get rid of him and him, and then let's play this in end turn. So I get another three thousand worlds. I get another three thousand worlds or a Sanji's pilaf. Um, I might lose here either way. I 
think I lost, dude. Yo, I thought he had to go to the gym. I thought you had to go slow. Yeah, that was, the, uh, I was in an unwillable, I, I didn't break his board fast enough or like dismantle it. I should have probably mulliganed. Um, I got two, I had loot goggles. I saw, I saw this in my starting hand and I got loot goggles. I have to realize that this is a very situational card. Um, so I have to use it fairly sparingly, but pretty good i thought these matches were great i love crocodile i feel like obviously the ratios i i can tweak um i want to get two more mihawks and two more kaidos just to have them uh the kaidos i think are just an amazing card it's gonna be really good in any deck um having four mihawks i think is like a must in blue because you can bottom deck seven costs or lower which is amazing um Specifically, when Opio 5 comes out, Sakazugi, because he can dip into the black um, play pool. Um, I think what his ability is to like minus something. He can minus by like one, I believe? Question mark. Um, but there's a lot of navy cards that can minus by like one or two just on play. And so even just having that, um, you know... Um, a Katakuri, an 8-cost Katakuri, even if I just minus 1 him with something, he's bottom decked by Mihawk, right? Because he's 7-cost now. Um, any, any minus 3 removal, I can get rid of 10 costs, which is, like, bottom deck them, which is really good, which means that I can save Red Rocks for later turns to utilize that, um... I can also put things in 3,000 worlds range, um, that wouldn't normally be. Again, five or less, I could th minus three cost something, and any Katakuri or any Katakuri eight cost is, is immediately in 3,000 worlds range. Um, I feel like Sakazuki is the next, uh, the next logical step in blue removal, uh, Crocodile's good, I just feel like having access to the black is going to make it a lot easier to get some of this stuff off. Um, and in Sakazuki, I won't, I don't think I'll have to play the Pacifista engine, because I I feel like I can, I mean, you still can, because it's, they're all navy type, um, except for Akuma, but you still can, because they're all navy type, so you can get some synergy with that, but that's OPO5, that's far off, at least for right now, Crocodile. We got a win and a loss. Crocodile's super fun. Um, if you like these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel, Paramisa TV. Um, leave, again, leave a comment on this video if you play blue. If you have any suggestions for things I made of miss, things I probably did misplay in this video, uh, things I should be looking for if you are a blue player and you have experience in these matchups, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always reading the comments on the videos and. Like, I'm just super in the phase of I want to learn as much as I can about this game because I'm having so much fun with it. Um, if you like hearing me talk about One Piece and other random related topics uh, related to One Piece, uh, anime, manga, and TCG, uh, follow our podcast. Link is in the description down below. Paramecia Fancast. We're on YouTube. Uh, episodes go up every Monday following the official Sunday release of the manga. Uh, episodes are also available as soon as they're uploaded to uh, every major podcast service in existence, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, YouTube Music, 
We're available on all of those platforms. So whichever platform you'd like to listen to podcasts on, go ahead and like the show, subscribe, engage with it. Uh, any bit of engagement really does help us. And it's a free way to help your favorite content creators. Uh, engaging with their content and leaving comments and stuff really pushes us through the algorithm. Um, also, if you'd like to support us in a monetary way in terms of... Uh, getting beefier episodes, maybe funding uh, an editor at some point so that I can pump out more videos without having to edit them myself, um, or just better equipment so we get better sound quality, better camera quality when I do like deck list reviews and stuff. Um, Patreon.com slash Paramecia, the link for that is also down in the description. Um, any bit of help truly is appreciated. Uh, we have a bunch of patrons that are helping us right now, and we've already been able to... Um, We've already been able to, like, really, uh, self... How do I put this? We've already been able to get our hosting site to give us a bigger monthly allowance of, um, of upload space, as well as, um, keeping the show self-sufficient, so I'm not paying for it out of pocket every single month like we have been for the past couple years. But, uh, shout out to the patrons, Joe William. Joe Williams, Chance, Maggie Rice, Ice Stomp, The Lost Cry Bragoon, Zach, Connor, Ashok Murthy, Coriagra, Fuddy Clam, James Sullivan, David Brownfield, Sam Thompson, Charles Ruth, Ronald Miller, and Bando Vandal. You guys are amazing. Uh, your support really does mean a lot to us. And uh, stay tuned to this channel because uh, honestly, um, the next couple videos I want to do, I want to test some stuff in OPO5 because that's, you know, OPO5 is lurking around the corner. It's already about to be November. Uh, which is crazy to me. Uh, but I want to test the starter deck 10 liters uh, with some OPO4 um, play sets for those uh, deck lists. And then I want to test some OPO5 deck lists uh, just to see what I'm going to finally land on for what I want to play in OPO5. Uh, I talked about it in, a, in one of the videos on the main channel. Uh, but I... Do, I mean, Doflamingo is my guy, so I want to play the Doflamingo family cards in OPO5 because I feel like it's a more complete deck in OPO5, but definitely um, I want to test out all the decks because I do want to test out Sakazuki, see how good it is, um, all that stuff. So let me know in the comments if there's a deck that you're excited for in OPO5, and I'll definitely uh, give it a test when uh, next video comes around, but uh, that'll do it for me this week. Peace.